tell you what, I'll show you something here. Let me get a little bit of that yellow. I want to put a little of that bright yellow right here. And maybe right here. Just lay a little bit on. A little bit on. And we'll take that fan brush, wipe off the paint, and grab that yellow and blend it back. So it looks like there's, there's the sunlight just laying in between there and playing, having fun. There. Now, blend this back. Mm. See how bright and shiny that is? Boy, the light's really striking right on there. And it gets darker, darker, darker as it works away. Okay, then right above this wave here, just blend that light in. There. Mm, that's pretty. Just a bright little rascal. Okay, I'll take a little white, least, least little touch of phthalo blue on the fan brush. White, little touch of phthalo blue. And let's go right up in here. And you can just come back in here and add in little touches of color. Just here, white and phthalo blue. Hope it shows up enough so you can see it. There, here and there. Just sort of drop those in wherever you want. What are you doing down here? Okay, right over there and here and everywhere. Are you ready for your surprise? But you're always using this little rocking motion. Just a little, I guess that's a good word for it, a little rocking motion. create the illusion of all kinds of little waves and stuff happening work. Hey, Jonas, without actually doing a whole bunch. The big game there. A little bit of that blue just shining right through that bright spot there. Okay, time to have some fun. Let's do the eye of the wave. That's always what everybody wants to, wants to do. That's the fun part. Take the filbert brush, a little touch of the cad yellow, and white, load a lot of paint on the brush. And let's go up here and get tough with it. Just get in here and scrub it hard. Just really scrub it. Scrub it. And then begin working out. So that's another reason we do this sketch, because you don't want paint in here. You want to keep that pure. Now then, begin working outward, 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 outward. And automatically, it'll get darker and darker as you run out of paint. There, begin shaping and forming the wave. Darker, darker, darker. Right on out to nothing. And clean, dry. Be sure it's dry. Two inch brush and use just the corner. And all we're gonna do here is just stir it up, mix it up. Tiniest little circles, tiny little circles. You can blend this till it's as smooth as glass. Now, let's begin shaping our wave. Grab it and pull. Isn't that neat? That easy. You can create the shape of this wave. That easy. That easy. There it is. Okay. Let me find a fan brush. I have several fan brushes going also. I'm going to take a little of that white. It has the least little touch of yellow in it. Now then, let's do this big crashing wave here. Grab it and pull. Make those little noises. And it'll pay you to wipe your brush between each stroke and reload it so you get nice clean color there. This is the this is the part of the painting that everybody wants to see. And if you're out if you're out selling paintings, which I was interested in that happy about But if you're out selling paintings, this is the part that sells. Okay, use the old filbert brush here. And I'm gonna load a touch, just a touch of this lavender color we had on the brush. Okay, let's go up in here. Now then, let's put some foam. We'll put the shadow in first. Put the shadow in. There we go. And all we're doing is just scrubbing it in. Put the shadow in, put the shadow in. Let it just come around. This is where you begin shaping your wave. Right there. There's a, let the shadow just, wherever you want it. Here it comes. Big splashing thing. There it comes. 
shadow first though. Okay, wash your brush. Then wipe it on a paper towel. Be sure it's as dry as you can get it. Okay, now let's go right back into our, this is our mixture of titanium white with the least little touch of yellow in it. Uh, I guess it was nothing. Load a lot of color into the bristles. All right. Now then, just sort of give it an upward push and put the highlight right up on top, right up on top of all that. Turn the brush, use both sides. Now when it runs out of paint, wipe it off good. Get all that blue and lavender color off of it. Come back with your nice color. Let's see, make those little noises. It really helps to get you in the mood. And then just sort of bring it all together. There, okay, now then. With our clean, dry, two-inch brush, once again, I just, I'm just grabbing this and I'm going to stir it up. Tiniest little circular strokes. Blend that right into the shadow, except nothing. the very edge. You don't want to blend that edge. You want to save it. Just blend it, blend it, blend it. Now, you could use a one-inch brush for this, but the two-inch brush I like to use because it seems to have more hair there. It really seems to work a lot nicer. We can put a little touch of that highlight color over here on the other side of that wave. Pull it down so it looks like it continues. Okay, let me find my little liner brush. Take the liner brush and we're going to some oh, titanium white, the least little touch of phthalo blue in it. Now let's just take this, come right along here, and begin adding some highlights here and there. Just like so. Now at home, you have unlimited time and you can just put all kinds of beautiful little things like this. Here, you know, they have no sense of humor. Shoot, if I go over 30 minutes, they get upset and start yelling at me. There we go. But these little things, these little things help shape and form your waves. All kinds of little, little gooders here. Fan brush also works very nice. Take a fan brush, a little touch of phthalo blue and white, and begin putting in just all kinds of little, little foam patterns that are moving and playing. And, but this is where you, once again, where you create the shape of your wave. As it goes out, it's getting flatter and flatter. There. Maybe. Tell you what, tell you what, right out here. Oops, there we go. And we can begin. Let's just lay in a little bit of foam that's laying down here. This is just titanium white, but it's picking up all those little colors that are underneath. Leave some openings, leave some holes in it. So you can see the sand and the water all through it. And pull like that. Still making those little rocking type strokes. It travels right on up the wave. Now right underneath this wave here, it's gonna be a little darker because it's a shadow created by that wave. So brighter out here and lighter there. Okay. Now then, script liner brush, a little bit of the lavender. And we need to have a little dark line that lives right into this. It'll pop that right up. Right up. And you can come back in here and put just all kinds of little things, wherever you want them. Tell you what, this is going to be a tropical scene. We need a happy little palm tree in there. Show you an easy way of making an indication of a palm tree. We'll just use Van Dyke Brown on the fan brush. Load it full of color. Let's go right up here. Decide where your palm tree lives. Maybe this palm tree maybe lives right here. Goes right off the canvas. We don't know exactly where it goes. Let's give him a friend. We don't want him to get lonely. Ooh, right through the crasher. Hmm. There, now we got two palm trees. Pretty soon, you know how palm trees are. Pretty soon there'll be three. Now then, now then, take a little black, a little white. We'll make sort of a grayish color here. And with that, let's just just put a little light on this one. Just a little light. See? Like so. Right up the old tree. 
There. Okay, you can take you can take the liner brush with a little dark color on it and really work it, make it little little doers like it going around with the tree. Okay. Fan brush. Let's make some big leaves out there. Dip the fan brush into paint thinner. I'm gonna take black ooh, and get it thin, thin like water, like ink. A lot of thinner in there. It's very thin. It'll run on you. Okay. Now then let's come right up in here. Decide where your big palm leaves. Maybe this one comes right around. And because this is so wet and thin, you can grab it. Look at that. See there? And that easy. You can make all those beautiful little shapes. Now then, just wherever you want them. Think about how your palm tree is going to look. Sometimes you can see both sides, sometimes one side. There's one. This is one of the easiest ways I've ever seen to make a striking little palm tree in this black color against that bright background. Oh, really, really stands out. You'll like that. You don't want to one to get left out. So you'll get him a nice limb. To grab it, pop it. Choom. Here comes another one. It goes right out through there. Grab it. Give it a pull. Okay. Another one. And maybe one right here. Just however many. And a little. See there? That's one of the nicest ways there is to make a little palm tree. Hope you've enjoyed this little tropical sunset type scene and I look forward to painting with you again. Until then, happy painting and God bless. Hi, I'm glad to see you again today. I thought today we'd do something a little bit different. I have more canvas up here as usual, but I've covered it today with a thin, even coat of liquid clear. And let me say it again, thin coat. You need very, very little of this. And this is nice when you want to use colors that are, say, transparent and you want to get sort of a different effect. So I tell you what, let's have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me. And while they're doing that, let's go on up here and get started. I'm going to start today with a small amount of Indian yellow. Just the least little amount on the two inch brush. Just, just have a little color in there. Let's make a nice little, oh, like a little sunset back here. Like so. And we'll just start and just drag a little color across like that. Like that. You know, since we introduced the, the clear, oh, I don't know, several series back, we've got so many letters. People are doing such fantastic paintings with it. And I've used it mainly for seascapes. And the letters are asking, can we, can we do landscapes and stuff with it? Absolutely, absolutely. So today, I'm gonna show you how you can do a fantastic little landscape using the clear. Right into crimson, Lizard and crimson. Still using the same brush, have not washed it. Okay, I'll go right up above the yellow and just begin laying that in. Because there was still yellow on the brush, we're going to get a nice orangey color. Beautiful little color. And then we're going to blend it down into the yellow. So these colors are very transparent, so you get some beautiful effects. Let me get just a touch more of the, the crimson on my brush here. Just blend it down, down. Like so. But you need very, very, very small amount of this liquid clear. Can't say that enough times. That's probably the biggest single mistake made, is putting too much of it on the canvas. One jar, oh my gosh, it'll last you for years. I'm just going to add a little bit of that same color down here to the water. Like that. Whatever we put in the sky, we'll add a little bit to the water too. Okay, just sort of blend that together. 
tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit more crimson because now we've wiped most of the yellow out of the brush so it'll look a little, a little more into the reddish hue. I want it to be a little brighter right above that. So we have just layers of different colors. Very pleasing, nice little colors. wherever you want it. That takes very, very little color when you're using transparent colors on top of the clear. Very little color on the brush. Now then, add a little bit more down here too. It's a little brighter in the sky. Should be a little brighter in the water. Now then, now then, I'm going to go into Thalo Blue. I have not washed the brush yet. Thalo Blue. I'll reach up here and grab a little of the crimson. Very little crimson. Just enough to just enough to give it a slight lavender hue, but very blue yet, very blue. And just drop a little bit of that off. This little blue is very transparent. There. Okay, we'll just bring it down to about like that. And let it stop. Same thing now. We'll put some into the water. in the water and I'm not sure who we're going to have lamb down here yet but it doesn't matter because you can put the lamb right over this color and wherever you want it that's where it'll be okay there I'm gonna get another brush here I have several of each brush now you with a good dry brush I'm going to blend this together. This is very dry. I'm sure it's good and dry because the clear and paint thinner will react quite violently. So be sure your brush is dry as you can get it. You might even wipe it across a paper towel before you do this. There we go. Okay. Now then, what's really neat after you have all these transparent colors on top of the clear is to begin adding little layers Hang out very close.